Really hope we don't get hit. Fleeing danger, Paulette. We could easily get hit, and it could damage our buildings. I don't even know how you want air defense. What what protects you from? It's New Year's Eve. We're gathering for the celebration. Vanessa's had it. She's fucking done with. Oh no, she's up. We're celebrating. Oh. Oh, cute. Cute. Ah. I'm about this, guys. This game makes me feel good. I bet when they die, it's going to make me feel bad. But right now, it feels good, man.jpg. Well, hey there, fans, friends, feds, and frenemies. It's me, Postmodern Cowboy, and I'm back with a little bit more Stranded Alien Dawn. Stranded Alien Dawn is a survival crafting game in the vein of RimWorld, in the vein of Dwarf Fortress, uh, from the makers of Surviving Mars, um, Tropico 3, 4, and 5, Hemimont Studios, uh, produced by Frontier Foundry. And so we left off. We are playing on the uh, Deadwood Seed, that's Deadwood in all caps, um, we are playing on the Deadwood Seed, and our community is doing okay. That's where we left things off. Winter is just around the corner. Um, we've got Talus over here. He's our, our uh, resident crafter. Working to produce some winter pants so we don't die of hypothermia. Paulette is putting the finishing touches on the house we just built for uh, Vanessa and Grayson. Vanessa and Grayson are doing their thing um handling the heating stove looks like and getting uh hay for cloth because we have the hay cloth upgrade so i'm just going to roll time here and um we'll continue to plan so i'm thinking we're going to move the community this is a great start location but i'm thinking maybe uh maybe a slightly more defensible location is in order um, and something a little bit closer to um, resources we may want in the long term. We also haven't done any scavenging, so that's likely going to happen this winter. <sighs> really, once you pick a spot, you're kind of you're kind of committed to it in this game. Um, uh, that's an unfortunate reality. The maps are quite big, um, so you can you can travel long distances across the maps. And there's, I believe, later later in the game, a hot air balloon to enable uh, long distance travel. Like, up here by this lake would be cool. I'm liking this spot. I'm really liking this spot, actually. That's fantastic. See, the terrain is defensible. We could uh, enclose a good portion of the upper plateau there. Yeah, so I think we're in this. There's, uh, there's, <laughs> there's alien nests. Um, these are... Here, I'll zoom in on them so you can see. Um, these are... What? spike-tailed insect these scorpion bug things don't want to mess with those um, we're going to be visited by them shortly i think um, but for right now let's go back to the community so grayson is making some medicine everybody's sort of doing what they need to be doing um i not really seen any any reason to change anything about what they're doing right now either we will need we will need another house regardless of what happens we're going to need another house but i'm not sure about the the winter clothes situation let's see paulette is probably doesn't need to prioritize crafting only grayson needs to prioritize crafting um we'll have I think I referred to Talus as a resident crafter earlier. That was incorrect. Grayson is a resident crafter. Um, Talus is... Oh, I guess we do need them to continue crafting somewhat, eh? That, uh... Because he's, uh... Working on... Should be a priority over research, I don't think, though. Okay, I'm gonna... 
I'm going to do what I do in going medieval, and I'm going to turn everybody's skills up to five. So we've got a little bit more coordinating space here. Okay. So we researched musical instruments. That's cool. Um, we can now build musical instruments out of metal alloys and wood. So I can put a didgeridoo. It's more like a didgeridon't, if you know what I mean. Um, <laughs> I have a little concert on the front, front porch of the house here. That's... That's interesting. Um, I, I'm not actually sure where we're supposed to put the instruments if it's like a... Is it a, is it a bedroom thing? Is it like a... I don't know, I... Hmm. And she's cooking away there. Vanessa's off to shoot at the targets. Speed time up a little bit here. She's cold. She got for clothes. Those pants aren't done yet. Pretty much gonna have to assign Grayson to just crafting. Oh, see, they have interest and indifference. I didn't even realize that. They have interest and indifference toward activities. So Grayson is interested in crafting, but Vanessa is indifferent toward it. Paulette on crafting number one. Um, oh, I was going to copy these skills out. Okay, so Paulette is going to be cooking. And Talus uh, won't be cooking, that's for sure. Talus should be um, harvesting, planting. I guess it's winter, so we're going to need to do one final harvest. He, he's not skilled in that. Paulette is our harvester. Put her at harvest two. And technically I should put her at harvest one, shouldn't I? And cooking two. Uh, cutting... Can Talus mine? Talus can mine and cut and build. So wait a second. What is Vanessa's real strong point here? She's good at cutting and mining. Okay. We'll have her mining and cutting. And Talus will be crafting. That's about right. And I don't want Vanessa researching at all. Her number three skill should be scavenging. Okay, and there. That way if she has nothing to cut or mine, she will scavenge. And I so I have already earmarked some stuff for that. That's good. And she's got some things to cut in mine. Off she goes. She doesn't actually need to cut all those. I think we're uh, we're good on sticks. Yeah, we're good on sticks. As long as Talus keeps making pants. And Paulette keeps cooking. He's crafting cloth. Let's queued up and research. Insect bats. Ah. <sighs> I don't know what insect fats are used for. We really need to get the uh, wooden fortifications happening, I think. Probably even before leather armor. And then electric grids. Let's do electric grids, and then leather armor. We'll go from there. 
I'm gonna need to I'm gonna need to research a bunch of things. But uh electricity is pretty important. I'm gonna start thinking through the logistics of our our long distance move all the way up across the the map. That that may have to wait until this spring. I don't think uh, it, it's a good idea to try to move the community in the winter. The back and forth travel is going to get people get people killed. Also, like if we're all the way over there on the other side of the map and we get attacked here, like that that's that's not going to be good for the community. There won't be anyone here to defend it. Um, these traps are not being completed. Vanessa is... Oh, she uh, she cut those trees down. Okay. Might as well speed time up. Talus has gone out to make a snowman. No shit, eh? Cool! Very cool. Will melt when it's warmer. So they do they do things for entertainment, um, in that are seasonal. Or if they like take a walk and look at fall leaves or whatever. Oh, we got some silicon there. He shouldn't still be making vegetable oil. I guess because she keeps cooking with it, so he keeps making it. How much bread is she going to make? 50 seems like a lot. Let's bring that down to 30 as well. So we're at 29, and then she'll change tasks. Um, Yeah, and she'll make some meat soup, which won't require. And then what, what, when, when she's done with food, what will she make? Animal migration is happening. Um, what's her major ability? Oh, I'm looking for Paulette. Um, is she a researcher? Not really. She can craft, so we'll have her craft. Insufficient storage space for silicon. Okay, I think that's just a matter of earmarking it for... Uh, what would it be? Any electronic components? No. Construction material? No. But there's no reason why I can't store construction materials there on that longer stockpile and it is silica crafting material it's a crafting material okay so we'll put ore and silicon also in that uh, that pile there and So good. Uh, Vanessa has hypothermia. Maybe she wants to put on. Uh, oh. Is he really not through these pants yet? Or is this the third set of pants? Are other people wearing good pants? Yeah, so other people are now wearing thermal pants. Talus has put his own thermal pants on. Probably make fewer metal alloys for now, because so they're not super in demand. Oh, my antibiotics are sitting out. I really wish that you could make them move things from stockpiles. That would just be so great. That would be so great, Hemimont, if I could move um, objects off of stockpiles without having to wait for somebody to get around to it. Um, I guess I could speed that up now, can't I? If I gave everybody...
Oh, see, there's some uh, some spider uh, or scorp, whatever they are. There. Um, I guess I have to kill them and inspect them to learn what they are. But they're 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 going to come in via the front. Oh, they're drinking beer. They're having a drink. That's good. They're going to be in a good mood. Some fight time. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna mobilize them right away. Did I not assign these beds to the correct settlers? Oh boy. So I, we made them, but we didn't assign them. Oh, animals are coming. Okay, everybody get up. Arm yourselves. To the barricades. Speaking of to the barricades, I uh, I, I got uh, Victoria three and it's pretty cool. Um, I refunded it because I'm I'm not gonna have time to play it and it it's not really uh, I don't think it's complete from the looks of it. Here they come. Um, it it would benefit from a bunch of mods and probably a DLC or two. I'm gonna I'm gonna you know play it as an American Civil War uh, like nation management game um most likely that's that's my major interest in it anyway um i played victoria too and just did like a house divided constantly but um as as the union of course um <laughs> maybe i'll you know, just like form some weird anarchist union but um you know this isn't this isn't the it's not the game i'm playing um i just i refunded it because i, I want to wait to see what is coming from the developers Okay, boy, these spiders are slow. I take that back when they start. Archers have a long range, actually. Actually long range. I think we got a hit already. Okay. So these things have a ranged attack. And in order to lure them in to my base, we're going to retreat, um, pull them through that entrance, so they hit the traps first. There we go. That's about right. Oh, Paulette got hit. But yeah, I think they're easier to hit while they're traps. Let's move up again. Come on, Grayson. Get some hits here, pal. There's another one there still. Might as well charge it. Kind of behind cover now. So we're going to have some healing to do. It's okay. I saw this coming and made some medical items. All right. Let's undraft everyone. Um, we're going to have them prioritize hunting for a moment so we can get that delicious, delicious bug meat. And then we'll set them back on delivering for the day. Oh, you know what? They're, it's going to take longer than a day, isn't it? Vanessa's bleeding and Paulette's bleeding. Well, Vanessa can take care of Paulette. Why is she not assigned to healing? She's our healer. Because she's not assigned to healing. That was silly of me. Oh boy. And can Vanessa heal herself? No, but I assume that Paulette can be drafted to heal her. Okay, so she'll get some bandages. And we researched insect bats. That's good. So I'm going to start producing those on the oil press. Rather than cooking the insect meat, um, we're now going to turn some bugs into uh, animal fats. Which will store ah, wherever, wherever they store it for now, we'll figure that out. Okay, everybody's healed. 
nobody's handling. They look, yeah, they butchered the insects. Grayson is making the fats. Fantastic. So we've got animal fats coming through. Does it have a spoilage by any chance, animal fats? Um, shelf life. 100% refrigerated. Yeah, so storing food outside in the winter is a good idea, but we're going to need to create a refrigeration unit this year. We may not be moving from this location for a while. That's my that's my sense. Uh, might as well reset the traps. Um, so we'll set them to handle so they reset the traps. And Vanessa is now off scavenging. Good. So I can count on that. Also need to figure out what these are. Do a little bit more exploring in our area. Well, that's cooking leveled up. Um, I don't remember if we planted buttermelons. I don't think we did plant buttermelons this year. We know what they are at least. Doesn't. Oh, I should have. I should have analyzed. Darn it! I should have analyzed the scorpion bug thing um, to figure out what they what they do. That's 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 whatever. It is. It is what it is. starting to get ahead of myself in the craftables here. I really need more housing. Um, what's... You know what? No. I am going to leave that field there. Let's build the next house down at this end. That makes sense, right? And I guess we'll build it on a stone floor like I did the other one. Two, three, four. So that's a full sized house, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven by five. Yep. And. This is going to be a two-room house with a craftery area inside. I don't think it's going to have uh, a kitchen. You know, actually, maybe I should just make it a one-room house. That makes sense. And in order to build it, we're going to need some stone. So I'm going to have to find some mineable stone for Vanessa to pull in. Vanessa's got thermal pants. Talus has thermal pants. Grayson has thermal pants. Paulette does not yet have thermal pants. Talus is working away on that. So really, but, but it's funny because by the, by the time he's done crafting, it's going to be summer and they're not going to need the thermal pants. Like we're, we're, we're getting on to, um, toward the middle of winter, I think. I don't actually know how to read that. Uh, all right, we'll put in a uh, wooden leather bed in that room. Obviously, these things are going to have to move. Thermal pants. Okay, so he's made thermal pants now, so Paulette can wear them. Alright, so we're going to take thermal pants off. make a fur coat 
or a warm coat. Let's make the warm coat for now. See, it's 11 degrees indoors. It's zero degrees in the bedroom. Is the vent open? The vent is open, but it doesn't... Insufficient storage space for whatever un unmade pants. Okay, that's small waste of resources there. These walls got damaged. Who is my building person? Nobody. Who would be the building person? Grayson, I guess. Yeah. Might as well plan then to move the research bench. Oh, uh, that's super weird. No research desk. Oh, because it, I get it. I get it. And this room is one, two, three, four. Four units wide. I don't know if it's more efficient to just build like one big building and put um, a bunch of like barracks type beds in it, um, or if everybody should get their own house. We'll we'll see. Certainly, probably more resource efficient to build a uh, shared residence, but. For a lot of reasons here. I wanna wanna give them appropriate housing. Oh, bro. Build the floors. And build more wattle fence through here. The tailoring bench is going to have to move inside. That's a, that's a weird one with this shelter here. Might as well deconstruct that too.
so I have grace and build this bed. What am I missing for the bed? Why can't I? I'm missing leather. And that's weird. It looks like there's a lot of leather on the shelf there. What is that? Dried meat. It's not leather. <laughs> okay. Um, hmm. Can they make a fabric bed? I really need a bed. Fabric bed. We need to cut some more trees here. I really quite like the pacing of this game. It, uh... It's a little bit of a slower burn than, than like going medieval. Um, I'm not I'm not in as much of a hurry to get ahead, but uh, we're going to start deleting some of these things here so that uh, so that I can expand the uh, the word I'm looking for. The, the porch in this house, just like it in the other one. is off cutting the trees down that's fantastic and Talus has a bed and I need to put uh, sleep um, I guess I need to build uh, storage shelves since I've just I think I've just removed a bunch no reason why they can't have a uh, storage shelf on the front deck there. What objects is it blocking? Oh, these are... Uh, no, don't. Whatever. Where's the door go? Door goes. I'm gonna make these houses more or less uh, identical. Door should go. Can't place stairs. That's so funny. Uh, we need to make. I just need to make. A wooden floor so that he uses. That should do. Yeah, this is a super inconvenient feature, um, having them construct and deconstruct storage shelves. Like, technically. Ah, oh, that's so frustrating. Oh, we got hungry pests outside. I didn't even catch that. Oh, no, and that looks... A flathead has come in to scope out my crops. It's freezing in the winter, and... He wants to eat the, uh... Rain cobs that I didn't harvest. So I might as well mobilize... In the community. I have them hunt these things down. Not that they're fighting back at all. Okay. And put them back on 
hunting task one. Uh, spaceship debris just crashed kind of far away but better there than on top of us I don't even know if it, if it can crash in the middle of your community but uh, would suck if it did that's for sure So yeah, I'm not I'm not sure how do you clear um, these still not sure um, I'm thinking I might reassign everybody in the community to uh, deliver and construction and see if I can't just get them to clear those damn shelves just kind of shitty that 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 might be the method that gets them clear but if it works, it works, right? Because I can't, I can't put a roof on this place until we clear. It's just silly, right? Can't block that either. All right, whatever. Get them through the night. So what was this thing we discovered? Skinberg. It's a raw cork-like material. It can be processed into vegetable leather on the workbench. So these purple plants become a leather. Interesting. Very interesting. I don't think anyone's doing research right now. We gotta get through this building phase. Boy, they've built a lot of snowmen. Maybe they want to pick another winter activity. And then we get skis, a snowboard. We got two people freaking out. Talus is on a sad wander, which can prove lethal in Rimworld. Um, looks more like he's just... Alright, whatever. Paulette passed out. Oh, yeah, so they are, they are clearing. Good. So that's the... The answer to get them to clear these stockpiles. We'll just have these, uh, these, these shelves here. This one stay as a food shelf for the time being, so they clear this. Hopefully they will. Yep, they're doing it. So wish you could right click and prioritize that task fantastic okay so now we can go back to what we were doing um oh, no schedule activities um let's take everyone off construction except for grayson and off delivery we're out of food why are we out of food why did she stop cooking okay let's think this through for a second not enough resources. 
we have no grain we've run out of grain whoa i didn't expect to run out of grain this winter hmm where's my meat Let's put it on this shelf here so we are oh, oh hot drinks that's new coffee i can make oh boy eh. grain coffee but it's catfish uh huh So quick recipes, we're just going to make meat soup, and we're going to do it until we have 20. Vanessa should not be cooking, Vanessa should be uh, doing anything else. What's Oh, we brewed all our oh, we brewed all our grain. That's what happens. Good. I don't think I, I would have said good to aggressive animals, but uh, all I need to do is patch up this portion of fence here, and we're gonna have Grayson do that right now. Oh wait, no, let's see. Don't want to patch that. I want to build wooden flooring. If they come in that side, it's going to be ugly. So we've got to get that done ASAP. And now, now I can put a roof on this place. Um, the other sides get a wood roof. Yes, it did. Okay, second cabin is ready to go, and I'm going to have Grayson immediately get on those wooden floors and Talus immediately get on the wooden roof. And Vanessa can also... She can't craft at all. She's going to cook now. At least they have food. They're weak. They're hungry. Here comes the animal attack. Where are they coming from this time? Close. I don't think we're going to get that hole patched. Oh, boy. No, no, buddy, no. I need you to just do the thing I told you to do. <sighs> Alright, so that's a problem there with the logic. He's carrying woods. There's no way. There's no way. And there's so many of them coming in. There's no way he gets it done in time. He'll just get cut off and killed. We get a we get a bunker at this point. Without the benefit of the traps. That's really too bad. At least the bugs are kind of spread out on their way in. That's some small mercy. People are gonna get injured though in this in this fight. There's no question about that. Oh, they're so bad at this, too. Time to oh, God, why? Maybe I should actually run them past the traps. That seems smart, right? 
the bugs are intent on us. So far, so good. So far, so great. We got what, one? No, they're all gone now. There was, that one died for some reason. Not quite sure how, I'm not gonna ask why. Eight bugs there, bug out there bugs here and we will have them butcher again as a priority so that we have food as a community we're eating the bugs again just like Klaus Schwab wants it's a joke I'm really not one of those okay um put another storage shelf on the deck here Now we're getting through winter. Everything is going to be okay. And cabin's done. Okay. It was making meat stew, so only Talus is hungry now. Talus threw up. He's so hungry. He didn't manage to eat his food. But he got it down. Alright. Here we go. Here we go, buddy. Nearly starved. That was an experience. But we are surviving. In fact, we might we might shortly be thriving. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We we'll build another house here at the end. Let's see one. Two, three, four, five. Would just mean, um, moving this thing. It's empty anyway. It's like the best time to move it. Where does it belong, though? Is there a... really a forever home spot for the uh, drying rack? Let's put it there for now. Okay, everybody's fed. We've got food back. People are sleeping. My, wa my wall is gaping open here, so that's not good, but... Uh, We'll get that plugged ASAP. It's an interesting way to do it, this. They want all the houses to be at the same height, right? One, two, three, five. That that one, two, three, four, five, six. So, so houses are seven by
Well, no, Grayson has the common cult. I haven't really checked what they're wearing, have I? Her cap, her cap, her cap. Oh, they actually, like, they put on a little loot, like, uh, that's cool. That's really cool. And so I guess we're going to need some stone so I can finish this floor here. Oh, I didn't actually put stairs on, uh, that's funny. I guess the stairs should go up there, technically. Doesn't go that way. And we are going to need to put... Uh... door won't fit there so that's fine the wood wall around the stone parts Are we coming along on research? I oh, yeah, they're researching. They are researching. So we're going to have wooden fortifications eventually. I'll be able to put up some, like, defensive works. And, and then we'll be then we'll be laughing. I don't know if I'm going to build one big stockade or more so, like, a siege building. Like a, like a fort. I don't know what makes more sense right now. Certainly for simplicity's sake, the stockade is... best defensively. Got them all in fur hats and sweaters and jackets. He's not doing well. Okay. That's his malfunction. Perfect physical shape. He just, just vomited for the fuck of it. Maybe he had too much to drink or something. What's Grayson up to? Grayson has pneumonia. Oh, that's not good. Um, we're going to need antibiotics based on how long the disease remains untreated. So Vanessa's immediately going to need to, and that's her husband, so let's, let's take care of this poor guy. He's, I think he's their construction. Pneumonia is suppressed. Okay. I don't want you to repair the shooting target. I want you to build the damn floor.
layout in this place is going to be a little bit different. We're going to do a bedroom there. Might as well put a stone fence around this side. Need 191 woods. Okay, let's cut some trees here. Should be enough, right? Any other close trees? These here. <clears throat> I don't think Vanessa's wearing really anything warm, is she? No. They all wearing coats. They're all wearing coats. So once that sweater is done, everyone will be wearing all the warms, except I think Vanessa also doesn't have the fur hat, but I can't really afford to make one for her. They're having a snowball fight. <laughs> That's awesome. It's a, not a dark turn, it's a light turn. Light turn, guys. All right. But stop that, you have jobs to do. Raining. Decreased happiness. Raining. Winter's almost over. Year one, day forty seven. I guess the season probably turns on day fifty, if I if I had to guess. I don't know what we're going to put in this uh, this other house yet. Probably the actual crafting. Might as well build with scrap metal here. Okay, fermentation barrel maybe fits in not that house. Tight 
tailoring house has space. New Year's Eve. Um, we can gather and celebrate New Year's Eve at... Now is not the time for this. Of course. Of course we're going to celebrate New Year's Eve. I guess that, that is the official end of winter. It's New Year's Eve. I don't... Maybe this planet has a different... Uh, you know. You know what I mean. Different weather patterns. Okay, so the wall there is complete. Grayson's eating, I guess he'll get to building. I can also now put a roof on that place. Nice little wooden roof. This is, I forget whose house this is going to, why can't I put the, why I want the roof go on? Something's, something's a mess. Whoa! Space junk? What the hell was that? Meteor rain. Oh. Okay. Okay. That's cool. We just got, uh, metal. Yeah. Oh, there's more. More coming down over there. I, hope it, I really hope it doesn't hit us. Um, something I forgot to do also was put in, uh... A nice livable parquet floor. It's just... Oh, that uh, sounds like artillery. Jeez, it's... Oh, wow. Really hope we don't get hit. Fleeing danger, Paulette. We could easily get hit. And it could damage our buildings. I don't even know how you want air defense. What what protects you from? It's New Year's Eve. We're gathering for the celebration. Vanessa's had it. She's fucking done with. Oh no, she's up. We're celebrating. Oh oh, cute, cute. Ah. I'm about this, guys. This game makes me feel good. I bet when they die, it's going to make me feel bad. But right now, it feels good, man.jpg. That was really nice. Wondering how we get our fifth community member, or, or at least our next community member. Oh, oh, Paulette doesn't have a bed. That's a bad. Let's, uh, let's fix that, shall we? Um. I'm gonna need to build a, an administrative building next, now that we've got adequate housing for the community. And that is Paulette's bed. And that is Talus's bed. There's Grayson and Vanessa. Perfect. How's our research doing now? Still at 73%. Alright, we're gonna need to get planting. Wonder who
doesn't matter who does the planting. Research should fall to Talus. Not even now. Oh, there's a gate there. Good. All right. How big is a distillery? Not that big. Might as well put a distillery in... Huh. Not really any space. Huh. Okay. A distillery in that shack there. There's a crafting bench gone. That fits in that car. Oh, that would be so cool if that fit. Hmm. Running low on food again. And I was just planting that. I need to uh, expand a buttermelon field now. It's that time of the year. And we're gonna do it, let's see, two, four, six. Do it behind this house here. Fourteen by fourteen. It's a pretty big buttermelon fields. Screw it. What do we have a lot of? These cost, these cost three scrap metal versus wood fence. Doesn't need to be a perfect fence, it just needs to be functional fence. Doing a great job. Planting's done for the season already. Oh no, they still got some uh, green copper to plant. And we researched wooden fortifications, so that's going to fundamentally change. Really put it around this side. I guess I can build it. Mm. Yeah, I can build it along there. Okay. Can't go quite around the corner. That's hilarious. So fortification. Well, the tree's in the way anyway. Huh. It's gonna be hard to enclose this. I might have to enclose the lake. You know, wooden towers. We get a place at intervals too. How long is this? It's 9 and 11. Okay, like I was saying, I'm going to do a fortified building first. Uh, a hold fast position. Might as well. Put the gate in. Huh. 
<sighs> the towers have to be set into the walls. Really wish there was a way to do both, like put it right on the corner, but I kind of understand why. Kind of. Can't have an even number now. That would be too easy. All right. <clears throat> That means we're gonna need a shit ton of wood though. There's not really any. That's nope. Need uh, need some keyboard shortcuts too. Would be would be really nice so I can just like select chop trees as opposed to. Okay. Okay, so where are we at? We've got a fort planned out. We've got crops planted. We no longer need to be wearing um, cold weather gear, so I should probably uh, switch them over to um, lighter stuff. Take the winter hats off. And the coats, which increase our heat tolerance. Jacket actually decreases heat tolerance. That's no good. She's still wearing the coats. So it shows you here that their heat tolerance is... Yeah, there we go. At least this season we want to make some good weapons and armor so we can uh, defend ourselves and start planning out uh, more defense. And... We're going to have a good old-fashioned barn raising here. Um, need to do some more mining.
See, I've seen some designs where people have built the giant wall around their town to start, and I just feel, I just feel as though building a single defensible structure is a better idea early on, and then expanding that to surround your, your community. You're always going to want a fallback point. It's not quite a castle, but it definitely is a Wild West fort. And... Might as well expand that to meet there. We're, uh, we're coming up the end of the uh, the, the video here, but uh, I'm definitely going to do an episode number three and expand on this. We're just going to keep building Deadwood out. You know, there was no domestic violence in this one. We had a snowball fight. We built snowmen. We had fun in the winter. Um, they almost starved to death, but uh, got their food at the last minute. We are, we are getting kind of hungry again, um, and we're going to be very hungry up until the grain pops. Um, but, uh, but it will. It will come up, and... When it does, um, we'll be eaten. We'll be eaten like kings. Uh, in fact, our remaining food, some of it's about to rot away. That's no good. So uh, food's going to be the, very much the priority for the next episode. Um, hopefully we get a bug attack or two and can um, expand that way, um, expand our, our, our food supply that way. But yeah, that's uh, that's it for me for now. This is Postmodern Cowboy playing Stranded Alien Dawn, a uh, community management survival uh, crafting game in the vein of RimWorld um, from the makers of Surviving Mars, Hemimont Studios, and uh, Frontier Foundry um, is the publisher. So yeah, uh, thanks so much for watching. If you like watching me play games, um, come play games with me. Uh, obviously this is multiplayer, but other games are. Um, let me know what you think down in the comments. Uh, hit me up on uh, Twitter. It's Pomo underscore Cowboy. I might, I might start a Discord uh, for my channel. Um, who knows what the future holds. But uh, yeah, like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. As always, see you in space.